Here's a quick one that shows how narcissistic a-holes will almost always try to turn things around and gaslight you instead of taking any accountability for their actions. And a smart person will know what they're doing and handle it accordingly. Titled, I found out my wife had an affair years ago and she never told me. She says it doesn't matter anymore, but I can't let it go. He says, my wife is 34 years old and I'm 36. Been married for eight years, together for 10. We built a good life together, happy or so I thought. <laughs> Famous last words. Recently, while we were going through some old messages on her laptop, she asked me to help find her find an email. I stumbled upon some old texts and messages between her and a guy from work. Oh, imagine that. They were flirty, way too flirty. And when I dug deeper, I realized she had an affair with this guy about six years ago, while we were married. I was shocked. She never mentioned this before, not even during the few rocky periods we had early on in our marriage. Well, of course she's not going to mention it. Why should she mention it? Why should she, you know, risk potentially getting divorced or looking like a fool or anything like that? Of course she's going to keep it quiet. When I confronted her about it, she admitted it right away. Oh, well, I guess she's an angel then. She said it was a stupid mistake, that it was brief, and she ended it because she felt horrible about it. Uh, probably more like he ended it with her, and that, that was probably it, and she obviously didn't want to mention it. She said it was a tough time in our marriage and claimed she didn't want to hurt me by bringing it up later, especially because it meant nothing, and she's been committed to me ever since. So now that she said it was a stupid mistake, classic line, and didn't, didn't want to hurt me by bringing it up uh, because it meant nothing and committed to me ever since. Um, how does he know that? You've kept it quiet all this time. You've been lying. You had an affair. You're effing another dude. Yeah, you're so honorable. Now wait, listen to this. Here's the thing. I can't stop thinking about it. It doesn't feel like it's in the past to me, even though she insists it's irrelevant now. She's actually insisting it's irrelevant. doesn't matter. There's a statute of limitations. After so many years, you can't get pissed off about it. Bullshit. She says, I'm overreacting and that I need to move on because we're stronger now. And this was years ago. So even if she was admitting it and bawling her eyes out, the fact that she says that he's it's irrelevant, he's overreacting and move on, that says that she doesn't give a shit at all how he feels. At all. Gaslighting. No big deal. Situation was reversed and he was banging another chick. Believe me. And if it was 10 years ago or 5 years ago, she'd be pretty pissed off. And she would think that her feelings were quite relevant. But the trust I thought we had, it feels shattered. I'm torn because I still love her, but I don't know if I can get past the fact that she kept this from me for so long. She says it's ancient history, to me, but to me, it feels like it just happened. Am I the a-hole for not being able to let this go, even though it happened years ago? And she says it doesn't matter anymore. Smack! What is with these guys? Asking if they're the a-hole. I mean, really, but you know what? I think they get so mind-effed by these women, or the people in their lives, and get such bad advice, they just don't know. No, you're not the a-hole. Because for you, it just happened. For her, it happened years ago. And she doesn't give a shit about you. She didn't give a shit about you back then because you were having some problems. Okay, all marriages have pro all relationships have problems eventually. And people that care about each other will resolve them by communication skills and listening and trying to work out solutions. Not going effing somebody else as a release or revenge. That type of thing. That's her way of handling things. And now, when she, when you find out about this, because she kept it quiet this whole time to protect herself, now she's di diminishing your feelings on the issue, overreacting, ancient history, that type of thing. Well, it's, what else did she say? Overreacting, irrelevant, those type of things. That shows that the bigger, even she's even bigger asshole for that. So, bro, you're not going to get this out of your head. Every time you uh, have relations with her, you're going to picture some other dude with her. You're not going to trust her when she's on her phone, staying late after work, going on girls' nights, girls' weekends, all these things. You're not going to believe some of the stuff she's saying when she's on her phone, who's she talking to? Those type of things. You need some serious soul-searching here about the bigger picture. You're only 36. You got your whole life ahead of you. Your prime has just begun. Her prime, she's 34. Bye-bye. <laughs> Maybe she looks great for her age. Hey, I'm sure she does. But it ain't going to be so easy to get guys nowadays. She'll, she'll get some young guys that want to bang a, a cougar. I guess they start becoming cougars by their mid-30s. Or uh, older guys that want to hook up with her. But relationship-wise, that's a lot tougher for her.
I talked to a lawyer, found out your options because it's bad enough she cheated, but the way she's diminishing this and making it out to be no big deal, that says a lot about who she is and trying to make you out like you're the bad guy here because you have a problem with this. And I'm willing to bet you that she's going to tell her friends and they're going to probably give you a hard time if you want to break up with her and end it. Don't listen to them. Listen to yourself. Even if everybody else tells you that you shouldn't end it with her and it was a long time ago and she's so sorry. The way she's diminishing you here and making it like it's no big deal and saying you're overreacting, that says it all. On top of the whole cheating thing. Now, a few comments here if I wrap this up. <clears throat> One guy says here, not the a-hole. Her frankly disgusting reaction to your feelings prove that she doesn't regret cheating and hasn't changed at all to this day. She's once again deciding how you should feel disregarding how you're feeling and placing herself permanently above you. You shouldn't let this go. The person who is supposed to be your life partner betrayed you in the worst possible way, then lied to your face six years ago without regret, and is making you feel like crap about it right now for actually having an issue with it. She doesn't want to have to ac accept the fact that she was in the wrong here. And I guarantee if you dug deeper, she'd probably say, it's your fault I cheated. You were doing this. You weren't paying attention to me. Whatever. Another one says, uh, that's not how apologies work. She doesn't get to say a thing about how you should feel. A good partner would never cheat, but a flawed partner who nonetheless feels genuine remorse and wants to fight for your relationship in a healthy way would acknowledge your grief, give you space to process, and if you're, you're, you indicate that you're willing to let them, take humble steps to try and earn your trust back. This reads like she hasn't changed at all from the selfish person who did things she did to ruin your marriage if they ever came to light. Containing this relationship would be a no for me. There you go. So this guy talked to a lawyer, find out your options to get rid of her. She's an asshole, piece of shit. You can move on. If you take a hit in the short term, you're going to. You'll survive. Many men have survived worse. Good luck, brother.